Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here, and in this video, we're going to share some tips and tricks you can try out on the Oxygen OS on the OnePlus 60. So OnePlus 60 comes with a new Oxygen OS based on Android 9.0, that's Android Pie, and the Oxygen OS version is Android, I mean uh, 9.0. So in this video, we'll talk about some of the really good uh, and useful features available on the OnePlus 60 with the Oxygen OS. So let's get started with the tips and tricks and the features of the Oxygen OS. So first step, let's go to the home screen. So if you just swipe on the home screen, you get this home settings. So select the home settings and here we have uh, some really useful option. One is double tap to log. So if you want to quickly log the device, you can just double tap on the display and this will log the device. Then uh, here are some uh, settings. You can add a icon to home screen for all the new installed apps. So that's another useful thing. Then uh, you also get an option um, uh, to change the icon pack. So uh, right now the icon pack is uh, one plus. There is also rounded icon pack, square. And if you have installed multiple icon packs, uh, we can download from the Google Play Store. If you have installed that, you will it will get uh, all the icon packs and you can customize it. Then home screen layout can be customized. You can see that now we have five columns. You can have four or even three. And also you can change the icon size. Uh, this is the default icon size. You can go for a smaller icon size or even a bigger icon size. So that's how you can customize the home screen layout. Now going to the settings. So if you go to settings, uh, there are lots of options. First, let's go to the display. So in the display, we have this adaptive brightness option. Then uh, apart from that, you also have the night mode. So night mode is self-explanatory, which uh, uh, depending upon the ambient light condition, night mode will automatically calibrate the screen color temperature. And uh, this will reduce fatigue and strain in your eyes and uh, might help you sleep better. So uh, you can actually turn on the night mode uh, automatically uh, for the set time. Or if you want to manually turn it on, you can just uh, turn it on and you can see that uh, this, uh, the display tone changes. And you can also have the uh, effect of uh, the night mode. You can go for a weaker night mode or if you want, you can go for a stronger night mode. So that's a night mode. Then uh, apart from that, there is also reading mode. So reading mode, uh, you can see that uh, if you turn on the reading mode, depending upon the ambient light condition, reading mode will automatically adjust the screen color temperature and um, this will give you the best uh, reading experience. So you can add uh, apps uh, for the reading mode and also block uh, peak notifications and uh, you can also manually turn on the reading mode. Then there is a screen calibration option. So you can actually set the screen uh, temperature by default uh, this color temperature is set you can uh, see this is the color temperature you can have srgb mode then there is also option to customize uh, the uh, colors you can see if you want a colder color you can have it if you want warmer tone you can have it uh, or even you can go for the default town as well so that's how you can uh, customize the screen temperature now the notch display so here we have a notch, you can see that this is a water drop notch and you can have the option to de uh, disable it. So right now we have disabled the notch and you can, if you want, you can enable it back. So that's the notch option. Then uh, app display in full screen. So not all apps are available in full screen because of the notch, some app uh, will be truncated. So if you want uh, uh, the uh, app to display in full screen, you can enable it from here. Say for example, uh, if you open Instagram, you can uh, see that there is a full uh, screen mode or default mode. You can enable the full screen mode and have the uh, app running in full screen. Then other than that, there is also ambient display. So ambient display, what happens is so when you pick the phone, uh, it will show the notifications. Then uh, you can also see how you can customize the clock. So these are the options available. So we'll just uh, show the ambient uh, display. So this is the ambient display. You can see that it will show the clock and the notifications included. So that's how you can customize the ambient uh, display. So four clock styles are included and you can also have a custom display message available for the ambient display. You can also change the, the font size uh, and uh, uh, display size uh, if you want to change, if you want to increase or decrease the size. Then there is also three themes available, colorful, light uh, and dark mode. So if you want to save some battery because it has an optic AMOLED display, you can actually have uh, the dark mode to, to increase the battery performance. Then going to the button and gestures. So here we have uh, some uh, really useful option. One is alert sli slider. You can customize the alert slider here. Then navigational bar and gestures. So here we have three options. One is back, home and recent ski. That's what we have right now. Then we have back and home. So we have uh, back and home and then you can just uh, swipe uh, from the uh, bottom to the center to go home and uh, have the multitasking option. Then there is also pure navigational gestures. So you can just swipe from here to go to the 
home screen you can just swipe and uh, hold it here for the recent uh, button and uh, similarly you can have uh, the options to customize so that's uh, the three options uh, navigation gestures back and home and the home uh, back and recent key so whichever way you want uh, you can also do that then there is also option to na uh, navigational bar customization you can have the options uh, back and multitasking can be interchanged hide the navigational bar then long press for uh, search, search assistant double tap action you can configure the double tap action so these are the actions available so these are some really useful option to customize the navigational bar and just as if you are uh, having uh, uh, if you are selected uh, whichever way you selected you can customize that so that's the navigational bar and just then going to the quick gestures so in the quick gestures we have a uh, flip to mute three finger screenshot so it's very useful one three finger screenshot similarly we have other options uh, like uh, answer call by gesture double tap to wake uh, we have the music control option draw o draw v draw s and draw m draw w are included so you can configure uh, apps or uh, any other settings for these uh, gestures then uh, going coming back uh, you can uh, see that option to customize the battery option so battery optimization can be done you can uh, see which all apps are taking up the battery and there is also adaptive battery make sure you turn this on so adaptive battery limits the battery for apps that you don't use often so this will extend the battery uh, performance of uh, the device so that's the battery settings and uh, uh, it uh, it actually gives uh, you better battery if you do a bit of course optimization with the battery then a screen lock uh, and uh, security option so here we have a um, uh, screen lock uh, then uh, fingerprint and face unlock is included so if you go to the fingerprint scanner so if you go to the fingerprint scanner you can see that i have added a fingerprint and then there is also option to uh, enable an animation so th that's the current animation available so you can have that's a cosmos animation if you want a wave animation that can be enabled uh, this is another stripe animation so these are the three animations available uh, when you unlock the device uh, using the fingerprint scanner so you can uh, just have a demo of that so that's the animation so that's the fingerprint scanner animation then going to the face unlock make sure you turn on the face unlock assistive lighting so that uh, you get uh, uh, face unlock functionality even in extreme uh, darkness so once you turn this on uh, the device will unlock the phone uh, even in extreme low light conditions so that's the security and uh, lock screen option then going to the utilities so here we have a really useful option called gaming mode so whenever we are uh, uh, playing a lot of games say for example if you are playing pubg you don't want to be disturbed you can see that there is an option to answer calls via speaker so in route incoming calls to speaker when gaming mode is turned on if you want that then uh, if you don't want to show any notifications you can block all the notifications then dis disable automatic brightness you can also do a network boost that means uh, limit other apps and using the network especially when gaming mode is turned on you can also add apps uh, or other games to the gaming mode so that uh, it will have better performance out there then there is a, a quick launch option though that means uh, turn on the quick launch and uh, you, you can see that uh, uh, if you press and hold the fingerprint scanner it will take you to a shortcut option so you can uh, select the shortcut so for example i'll just show you that uh, option so press and hold you can see that now you can see that these are the shortcuts available so press and hold will take you to an app so we'll just uh, add a new shortcut here So there you go so new shortcut is uh, take a video or other let's go to take a portrait so there you go we have added now let's just rearrange it let's go to the first one now let's unlock the device so there you go you can just take a portrait uh, uh, quickly so that's uh, how you can uh, use uh, the settings in the fingerprint sensor shortcuts uh, can be enabled here so that's the quick launch then there is parallel apps so parallel apps is kind of dual apps functionality we have uh, multiple instances of uh, apps running so two instances of facebook two instances of instagram or other social apps can be uh, run simultaneously with the parallel apps then app locker so app locker is basically uh, an area where you can lock the app so we'll just demo it we'll just enter a pin so now you can see that uh, app locker list so add an app so we'll uh, just go to the calculator so just added calculator then coming back now let's open calculator so there you go 
So now you can see that if you want to use the calculator, you need to enter the pin. So that's how it works. So that's the app lock functionality. You can also enable the uh, app lock. I mean, uh, you can also unlock the apps using the fingerprint scanner. Then there is pocket uh, mode. So pocket mode is kind of self-explanatory. Prevent accidental screen touches or fingerprint operation when this phone is in the pocket. So that can also be enabled here. Then if you go to system settings, uh, we have the option to enable the OTG functionality. So if you want to connect uh, any cable uh, using the OTG cable, you need to enable this option. And this functionality will be turned automatically off after 10 minutes of inactivity. So these are the tips, tricks and features available on the OnePlus 60. So if you have the OnePlus 60 with Oxygen OS um, uh, 9.0 and uh, Android Pi update, uh, you can try out these features. These are some really useful features available in the Oxygen OS. So uh, don't miss out on these features. So if you have the device, do try these features. So that's the tips and tricks on the OnePlus 60. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.